is what your hand position should be like on your ball. Both thumbs here, you're coming back in and stepping and pushing, your hand should be extended and down. Push. You should be able to step with either foot when you pass. It should hit right in their chest. Your ball should have a little bit of spin on it when you do it, so it's moving. And then you should just get good at passing it. It shouldn't be too hard because they got to shoot off it. It doesn't, a harder pass is not a better pass. It's got to have some snap, but just like that, the perfect pass to shoot off of. If we use the lane and that's three quarters mark, you want to get a little bit over half on the bounce, same kind of pass into the floor. And it should land at your chest, okay? So you have to put the pressure on the ball so it's not like that. That is not a good pass. You want to receive it into your hands. Step and push just like you do a chest pass straight. This one you're doing into the floor. So it's again good to shoot off of. On an overhead pass, you're going to grab it much the same. You should be able to slightly, if I was going to do a chest, it's almost the same. Chest pass is the same. A bounce pass is the same. And an overhead pass is the same. I'm just taking it up over my head and then following through downward so that my ball just goes at her chest. Always follow through where, where you want your ball to go. Just like so. Maybe on a long throw or an inbound, someone would overhead pass to get it, skip it over to another person. Same thing, you don't want your ball over your head, you always want your ball to land where you can shoot it in, right here. Other ones you can do behind your back passing. So you can take a ball, pass to your partner this way. When you get good, make sure you close your wrist so that you hit your partner as you turn. Or you can stand facing them, turn your body. Make sure it's at their chest, you don't want it way over their head. Stand arm's length away, away from your partner, both hands up. You're going to go back and forth. Plant your feet so you're with the ball. You want to get it into their empty hand without making them turn their hand over. So you're just going quick, quick, back and forth. This is good for coordination and just being able to catch and receive.